So today we're going to look at liver fluke. Very complex parasite, maybe the most complex parasite in sheep, cattle and goats. Welcome, I'm Dr. Danny Woodendahl. So liver fluke, the name tells you already what happened with this parasite. We find it in the liver. So it's unique. It's unlike other parasites or internal parasites that we find into the stomach or part of the intestine. So this parasite has specific circumstances where it occur. It needs an intermediate host. That means when cattle are affected, the eggs of this liver fluke go through the dung, out, and then it hatch and it go into a freshwater snail. So there must be standing water, freshwater snails, for this parasite to occur on the farm. Then it multiply within that freshwater uh, snail, and then it go out and go and attach itself to the grass that sit on the edges of the water. So when the cattle come past, they will eat that grass with the, the immature stages of the liver fluke. It will hatch inside the stomach and then it go through the intestine and it migrate to the liver and then migrate through the liver, eating some of the liver tissue until it become adult two months later in the gold tubules. So a major effect on the liver, the liver is the energy and protein generator of the body. So this disease causes problems not only when animals get infected, because they get infected mostly now. Again, end of summer, in autumn, when the water recede, that is when the cattle start grazing in that areas, that's when they pick up the parasite, and that initial stages happen now in autumn, but the adults is in the liver during the winter. That is when they cause the losses, and suddenly you see your animals becoming thin. If you look at the inside eyelid, it can become white. There's no fever because it's, it's a parasite disease, and you need to treat. It's not always easy to identify. You can send in a sample from the dung. Uh, if the liver fluke is adult, that the vet can identify it. Otherwise, mostly farmers identify it when they slaughter cattle because that, that liver will be full of the liver flukes. That liver will be discarded. It can't be used for human use. Uh, and then you have to talk to the veterinarian about the program in managing liver fluke. Because we have certain treatments, either treatment tactical, that is when we see the new infestations, or a strategic treatment that we give at the end of the winter, that we get the animals clean of liver fluke, that they don't infect the freshwater snails in the next year and complete the cycle. So a very complex parasite, best to talk to the vet about that. Not all remedies that we use for normal uh, internal parasites for the worms work against liver fluke. Very specific products. Some of them work at all stages of the liver fluke and some of them only for adult liver fluke. Complex problem, talk to your vet about the right treatment or tactical treatment to prevent it, but it can cause major losses, not only now, but mostly by the end of the dry season when the livers are affected. I just want to thank our sponsors, uh, King Price Insurance, uh, as well as designed by Logix that produce vaccines for sponsoring these programs uh, that we can bring it to you as farmers. So farmers that want more information can send me a WhatsApp to number 072-377-4423 if you want more information about the treatment of this disease that we're dealing with today.